out to questions tonight surrounding medical marijuana and Buffalo police officers who have a prescription to use it. Officers are subject to random drug tests, but the PBA says there is no clear policy when it comes to marijuana. Our Hannah Bueller diving into this controversy for us tonight. Our contract, if you test positive, you're fired. Right. You don't get a second chance. You don't get to go to rehab. And that's why there's confusion for the Buffalo Police Department concerning medical marijuana and positive drug tests. When the officers call and ask, I don't know what to tell them. I'm like, well, I'm not sure. Buffalo Police Union President John Evans tells me many of his officers have the New York State licensed medical marijuana cards to treat things like PTSD. In this letter he sent to the Common Council, Evans says the former company BPD used for random drug testing would cross-reference a positive test with any prescription the officer may have. But a new company just reports any positives to BPD administration. And that's why we submitted to get some further clarification because we don't know. Council member Rashid Wyatt says the council needs clarification from the state too. Because even for us, this new legislation regarding marijuana and is somewhat confusing because we're not clear. The Buffalo News reports a settlement is forthcoming for a Buffalo firefighter who was fired from the city after a random drug test in 2020 showed marijuana in his system. The news says the firefighter is a licensed medical marijuana card holder and uses it to treat chronic pain and PTSD. He's seeking his job back and $242,000 from the city in back pay. Evans says no officers have lost their jobs over the muddy marijuana testing process, but doesn't want to see it reach that point. So where is this concern coming from? Is it coming from officers who say that they have medical marijuana licenses and they're worried about what might happen in a drug test? Exactly. Exactly. And this has gone, literally, this has gone on for years. Hannah Bueller, 7 News, Buffalo.